Well, good morning on this Tuesday. We are talking about fog again. That's now our concern as we have watched the rain move on. The moisture is still hanging around in the air and that's led to fog development. In fact, our visibility in Fargo has worsened even in the last 30 minutes or so. We've seen our visibility drop. Normally we can see downtown Fargo, which is about two miles or so away from our sky cam. Can't see it. So visibility right now, at least from our vantage point, uh, is uh, two miles or less. So again, Areas of dense fog happening here this morning for that morning drive. Make sure even after that sun comes up uh, that you got those, those headlights and taillights on and just that you're taking that extra look again this morning before pulling out into traffic and uh, making that turn uh, onto the next road. Looking at current conditions, we are seeing some uh, temperatures that are into the 50s, which is actually pretty mild for this time of year. We're looking at 55 degrees in Fargo and wind is out of the north at eight miles per hour. Very light and we're seeing a Moorhead at about, at about 54 degrees right now. So temperatures again, not too bad out there in Grand Forks. You can see that we've got those low clouds overhead. We're at 56 degrees, very light wind at three miles per hour out of the north. So looking pretty quiet uh, and visibility again has been a little bit better along the Red River and then worse the farther west you go. Uh, though again, we've been watching our visibility drop in the FM area. Uh, so in general, we're looking at places where fog is bringing down our visibility to near zero in places like Cavalier, Valley City, Gwinner, Oaks, all around that zero mark. And then some of us even in that quarter mile visibility report around Langdon and can do. Minnesota has been a little bit better for visibility. The exception is Bemidji where we've got that report of a half mile right now. So visibility going to be a factor for us for the next few hours until we see this fog lift. Yesterday it took a while for some of us to watch that fog lift. I'm hoping it'll be a little bit sooner today, but the low that created all that moisture is moving eastward and the rain with it clearing out of here. And we're just looking at today starting off a little more on the murky side on the gray side this morning. And then as the morning goes on, you see these clouds moving westward. We're seeing some skies begin to clear and we get some mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies for the afternoon. Should be a pleasant afternoon temperatures into uh, the 60s to some 70s, low 70s for highs today and looking at wind out of the southeast teens to some 20s, so not super strong either. Uh, just generally a pleasant night. Now heading into the 11 o'clock hour, temperatures will be in the upper 50s to around 60, and overnight we'll be back into some 50s to start off the day tomorrow. Let's take a look at our planner over the next seven days. Next few days we'll see some low to mid 70s. Wind starts to pick up on Thursday, but during the midweek stretch we're going to be more on the dry side. Gets a little more unsettled into the weekend, but with that unsettled weather comes some warmth. Temperatures getting into the 70s to about 80 degrees by October 1st. We're talking about 80 degree temperatures and maybe even some thunderstorms uh, heading into the weekend. Hard to believe. Uh, and then next week, a step and back a little bit, but our average high temperature this time of year is upper 60s right yeah. now. Uh, so we're either right there or above that in the next 11 days. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, some stuff going on. Thank you, Lisa.